So we're going to do a really different video right now. First and foremost, I want to do a few shout outs. So Jamie and Aunt Anne's variety of videos, uh, they have been a big support system. Well, Mr. Jamie, as obviously I've done videos with, you know, Jay Wilkins for years. Uh, you know, he's a great guy, and I just want to point out that he does great, amazing videos, reviews. Uh, he's a positive, uh, you know, influence, I think, uh, and on YouTube, and I think he does a great job. Just want to point that out. Um, Boobop, 1987, also a really cool lady, very down-to-earth, does a great job on her channel, reviews, and she's just a really friendly person and very awesome and I appreciate you know all the support that she's given me over the last you know six seven years um, and honestly everybody else everybody else who has come on here and commented and supported the channel uh, Travis uh, Travis 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 Clackett he uh, asked for a shout out and uh, I just wanted to say uh, Travis appreciate the comments and uh, go check out his channels he's also got a video vlog his channel as well uh, and you'll see some of his comments probably on some of my videos and um, and now we're gonna get into what I really want to talk about so as a Chicago's fan of sports I want to say first and foremost, with the Cubs at this point, we are absolutely horrible. Um, and I don't know if it's management, I don't know if it's players, but I could see the entire franchise being changed in the next two years regarding management, regarding man upper management regarding talent i'm thinking we're going to just yeah the whole process is going to be torn down because this is not working for us at this point i mean the white Sox are the better team in the city at this point the cubs could not compete with the white Sox at this point that's how good the white Sox are right now so that's a little disappointing as a Cubs fan, I have to be honest, because I thought we were going to be decent. We're not at this point. We're pretty bad. We keep losing game after game after game. There's no consistency. Um, yeah, it's just, it's not good to be a Cubs fan right now. <laughs> really, got to be honest. <laughs> now, as a Bears fan, different because we are doing a lot of good things regarding bringing players in and developing Justin Fields the correct way. I think that the Bears should have a better year this season and possibly the next few years. Um, that I am high on. I think the Bears will actually do decent in that division now. Um, if we can get the right players in place, I think we can actually win some games. So with that, here are my picks for the Chicago Bulls to improve. So, number one, I understand why you're high on Kobe. Kobe White is a great young talent, but you have to understand that he is hurt a lot. He is just coming off a major injury. Um, I think it's time to get rid of him and Larry Malkinen. I think that we need to move on from both of them, put them on the trading block, deal for Lonzo Ball, and move on. Lonzo would absolutely make this Bulls team a really contending team in that division in the Eastern Conference. It's either that or you have to talk to the Spurs and get somebody like a Patty Mills or go after a Spencer Haywood, go after a John Wall. 
Go after a Chris Paul if he's a free agent, for God's sakes. Kyle Lowerly. That would make the most sense. DeMar DeRosa, for God's sakes. Go after him. Do something, Bulls. Because as a fan, I cannot stand year after year after year of watching this horrible team. I mean, I've seen no improvement. Even with Billy Donovan as head coach for the Bulls, I see no improvement right now. You've brought in some gun guns, some young guns to help this team, but you also traded away Carter Williams and a bunch of younger players that I thought were actually decent, that you didn't give enough time to let them develop. And like Thaddeus Young is also a very amazing to young talented guy and he he's a little bit older now but he can still score. I think you should still keep him. The other thing you have to consider is if you want to have have a decent product on on the court, you have to put money into getting players and like their off season last year actually they improved by several trades so i think that they're in the wake of trying to reamp this team but i also feel like as a bulls fan i'm gonna see it when it happens i think we should go after lonzo i also think we should go after julius randall if he's a free agent for god's sakes ben simmons would be a good choice for us the bulls have to understand that this is not the 1990s anymore you have to have these players on your team who are players that can do everything you can't just have the wake of an idea that you can just shoot threes all day long and win a game now you don't have a steve kerr like the Bulls had in like the Jordan years and in the earlier, you know, championship years. And even into like a John Paxton. Like he was also a really good player. I'm just saying that all these other teams in that Eastern Conference have gotten so much better because they've caught on to how to turn their franchises around. And I think that the Bulls have to do that mindset bring some of these international players over. Like, they just signed this guy from Europe who's an amazing player. He's being compared to, like, a Kevin Durant or, like, a Blake uh, Blake Griffin. And I think that the Bulls have to do something here to turn this team around because you're losing to the Pacers, to the Pistons, to the Hawks, to the Raptors. Every single team in that division has been annihilating you. For years, you have to turn your franchise around. Your fan base is going to get so frustrated to the point to where they're not going to want to watch a single game at this point. I'm saying as a, as a, as a Bulls fan growing up also, because I was around long, long, long time ago when Jordan, Pippen, Rodman, and all the really good Bulls teams did not put up with crap from people. They went into every single game fighting like warriors and ending up winning. So that's the bull mentality that we as a Bulls franchise has to have going into the future. We have to get better players in trades. Yes, we're going to give draft stocks picks. Yes, we're going to have to give up a young player. But you have to look at somebody like Lonzo. Lonzo has been playing on a absolutely horrific New Orleans team. Other than Zion, that team has absolutely nothing going for them. So why not just say, okay, here's two young players, four draft picks, give us Lonzo, and two draft picks back? That, to me, would make total sense. And then go after Spencer Haywood in free agency, or Andrew Wiggins. Or a Chris Paul. Or a Kyle Lowry. You gotta do something here. Because the Bulls cannot keep struggling in this division. They're gonna be the laughing stock of that division. And as a fan, I cannot tolerate that anymore. I want 
my Bulls team to win and to be successful again. Just saying, hypothetical.